Hello, Cases Judges, and welcome to our pitch. My name is Dr. Katrina Knauer, and I am the PI for the project No Carbon Left Behind. I'm a polymer scientist at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, or NREL, and the Chief Technology Officer of the Bio-Optimized Technologies to Keep Thermoplastics Out of Landfills and the Environment, or Bottle Consortium. We have an amazing team of scientists on this project, including our implementation partner, Olivia gomez Hozas, the Chief Executive Officer of Rhodium Scientific, a Hispanic female-led organization with extensive experience in space biomanufacturing. The vision for this project is to enable a greater than 85% conversion and a 10x economic valorization of mixed plastic wastes that are not currently recycled and rejected by material reclamation facilities or MERVs. Current recycling technologies require advanced sortation of the waste into highly pure streams, and this results in a significant amount of plastic waste rejected by MERVs and sent to landfill. Our proposed technology will eliminate the need for advanced sortation and allow for highly heterogeneous waste streams to be converted into one single product. To accomplish this vision, our project goal is to develop a viable catalytic deconstruction and biological upcycling process, which we believe will be enabled by microgravity conditions on the ISS, to convert mixed plastic waste to highly valuable biopolymers called polyhydroxyalkanoates, or PHAs, that are already commercially used as biodegradable plastic packaging today. The proposed project will address all three goals outlined in the ISS Sustainability Challenge and was motivated by previous work done in the Bottle Consortium. We have demonstrated a successful case study using mixed plastic streams of polyethylene, polystyrene, and polyethylene terephthalate with up to 65% yields in bioproducts. But our engineer microbial strains have hit a wall and we can't seem to push the carbon efficiency any further. So at this stage, we really need space and the ISS to truly push this technology to the next level. And we hypothesize that the effects of microgravity can yield microbial strains with improved metabolism and carbon efficiency that can be harnessed and replicated on Earth. We need the help of the ISS to achieve this vision and the use of an advanced laboratory in microgravity conditions. Additionally, previous ISS work conducted by our implementation partner, Rhodium Scientific, suggests that exposure to spaceflight conditions can generate microorganism strains with improved metabolism for PHA production. So we believe that utilizing these conditions on the ISS, we can develop new biodegradable polymers from otherwise non-circular plastic feedstocks. Our proposed project will progress as follows. The oxidative deconstruction of mixed plastics will be carried out terrestrially in the bottle labs at NREL using our patented process. The oxygenated intermediates will be loaded and frozen in rhodium culture bag hardware for integration into the rhodium science chamber facility. Engineer microbial cell cultures will be co-integrated into the culture bags using proprietary techniques that will avoid on-orbit pipetting operations that could introduce contamination and safety risks to the astronauts. Samples will be transported to the ISS for incubation under microgravity, most likely using the Sable incubator. And then following incubation, samples will be immediately frozen in the Melfi and remain frozen for return to Earth. Upon return to Earth, samples will be transferred to the bottle labs at NREL and cell population, protein structures, and bioproducts will be characterized and compared to terrestrial experiments. If PHA yields prove to be superior, the cell population will be harnessed for living foundries and replicated to potentially scale the process using the NREL pilot plant. After demonstrating a successful pilot run, Bottle and Rhodium will work together to identify an appropriate commercialization partner in the plastic supply chain. Our proposed technology will overcome challenges in heterogeneity of plastic waste by upgrading real-world mixed plastic waste with yield improvement and cost reduction strategies. We believe this unique combination of innovations in chemistry, biology, and spaceflight will truly push this technology to the highest carbon efficiency possible to achieve carbon circularity for plastics. The targeted PHA products are highly valuable, market-relevant plastics already used for biodegradable plastic packaging. So if successful, this project would substantially advance the state of the art toward commercial relevance and provide a technology for piloting and scale-up development. The proposed project will be carried out over 18 months. We are requesting a total of 468,000 in funding from cases with 168,000 of funding in kind provided by Bottle and Rhodium. Additionally, NREL will cover the cost of a pilot run, which is approximately 300,000 per batch. Thank you so much for your time and consideration, and we hope you will select our project to progress to the next round in the challenge.